here we are again. And I have good news for you. The world is a beautiful place and there is no need to run away from it. Rabbi Nachman explained in the first Torah in the Kutim Maharan that the job of a Jew in this world is to find the Seichel Shebechol Davar, to find the wisdom, the beauty, and the intellect in everything in the world. And to draw close to Hashem through that thing. Because in fact, the entire world is drawing us closer to Hashem and not drawing us, God forbid, further away from Him. If, in a moment of smallness, a person feels that a particular behavior or object or person is drawing them further away from Hashem, so they might come to take a neder or a shvua, an oath or some sort of prohibitive uh, utterance that basically distances them from that particular thing. And the Gemara is very clear at that point that the person should not follow through with that neder or shvua. But in fact, the advice is that they should go to a chacham. And that chacham will help them to either find some way to uproot the neder me'ikara, to say this was never an oath to begin with, there's nothing to do here, or alternatively to find some Pesach, to find some opening that's able to mitigate the effects of this neder through technicality. And the reason that we specifically go to a chacham is that the chacham is the one who's able to see the seichel shebechol davar. And when we come to the chacham and they show us that you thought that this thing was getting in the way of your relationship with Hashem, you thought this person or that behavior was getting in the way of your relationship with Hashem, let me show you how to use that thing. Let me show you how to use that midah. Let me show you how to use that relationship with that person as a stepping stone for a deeper relationship with Hashem. The entire parsha of Matos, which deals with Nidarim and Hatars Nidarim, is teaching us the secret of what it means to live with the Seichel Shebechol Davar. Either to have it ourselves, or to go to somebody who can show us that the world is beautiful. Rav Kook explained in his Siddur Olas Raya, in the uh, introductory pasuk to the Kol Nidre, Or Zarua La Tzadik, Uli Yishrei Lev Simcha, that there's a difference between or and simcha, there's a difference between a tzaddik and a yashar. Sometimes a person feels like, as I said before, there's something that's standing in the way of their relationship with Hashem. And so we take some good aspect of ourselves or some good aspect of the world and we bury it in the ground. Or zarua la tzaddik. Planting is an act of taking something and putting it in the ground and watching it disintegrate. Washing it dissolve and, and be almost destroyed to the point that finally in the end it's worthwhile because by putting off this thing now I'll be zocha to something in the future. Or zarua la tzaddik. But there's another level which is called yishrei lev. It's called being straight with the world. Ki tzarich ha ish ha yisraeli milashon yashar el. Someone who's straight to God. And that person is the person who is besimcha. Because there's no friction. There's no antagonism. The world is not drawing me away from Hashem. The, the world is drawing me closer to Hashem. Every talent that I was born with, every skill set that I have, every possession that I own that was earned through proper means is drawing me closer to Hashem. Every person in my life is drawing me closer to Hashem. And so the job of a Jew in the world is to either himself or herself have access to that seichel shebuchol davar or go find someone who's going to give it to you. Hashem should help us that we should be people who are Yishrei Lev. We should be Zohat to Simcha. We should be Tzadikim who are Zohat to Or. And we should plant that Or when it's necessary and have it sprout later in time. But more importantly, we should be Zohat to be people who are Yishrei Lev, who are straight, and who don't see any friction between us and the world. And in that merit, we'll be Zohat to the ultimate Simcha and the ultimate Geula. B'mher b'mino amen. Chavis.